it is looking more and more likely sometime between about the 17th to the 20th we are going to have a tropical system develop in the philippine sea and thus create that enhanced habagat for our west coast of the philippines and even across okinawa maybe even a full-on tropical system or taiwan uh, for that matter. I'm meteorologist Robert Spett. I always do my best to keep you posted out here in the Western Pacific, not only in the near term and the long term forecast. And that long term outlook is what we're going to kind of focus on. But first, let's get to the near term. Also, this is the 16th to the 20th, showing that inflow, that enhanced bog out with the ECMWF really looking at heavy rainfall so even if we see a system develop towards the east in the philippine sea it doesn't mean you're not going to see the impacts here across west coast of luzon mindoro the visayas palawan we're going to continue to monitor this one very very closely first off let's uh let's jump over uh to the current satellite picture i'm going to keep these graphics on the screen if you want to look at them a little bit more here and we have several areas we have danas what is left of it basing uh just into southeastern areas of china we have invest 93w over okinawa yeah our friends out here across the southern japanese islands looking at rainfall we have 92 right there and then our potential next area would be down here towards the south. Now, here's some good news with this. You, you're probably looking at this going, four areas, what? But the energy is spread out over a broad region. And whenever we see that, you can't get that quite consolidation. So despite having several tropical areas that are worth watching, I mean, these are tropical lows um, that are moving off here towards Japan. And they're going to increase rainfall across southern Japanese islands, across uh, Japan, um, from Kyushu, maybe even parts of uh, Honshu. This area, actually, if this could skirt Tokyo, move towards the north. And look at this, almost a bit of a, a low just tracking along the south. Actually, let's take a closer look at our ECMWF guidance. You can see the system spin up just east of Shanghai. And there comes that one coming in from the south. Both of these are going to be rainmakers for Japan. All right? But... Um, the energy is just spread out over a, a broad area. So I'm not anticipating an organized like strengthening storm system or anything like that. It's just going to be a big rainmaker. So uh, the good news is that since it's all spread out, you're not going to be looking at typhoon conditions. Bad news is it is a, it is a lot of rain. Um, yeah. Okay, so look at this right here. That's our next area trying to develop east of the Philippines. And according to both the GFS and ECMWF, that area is anticipated to try to spin up something. And in fact, let's take a look at the guidance right here. So we here we go. Watch this as it tracks towards the north. And that one being removed from those other areas, the 92 and 93W towards the north, could consolidate and help enhance that habaga in increase that rainfall for the west coast of Visayas first river of moisture down here towards the south pretty confident on that taking place but if this strengthens the lift north then manila could get on it in northwestern areas of luzon as well so let's look at it let's look at our um broader satellite picture here once again there you can see our convection towards the north there's that one towards the south that we're monitoring um, and then we take a look at microwave imagery. You can see all of this moisture flow and that energy spread out from basically southeast China over towards the south of Japan, uh, just south of that high pressure ridge actually located over Hokkaido. Hokkaido is really kind of that high is keeping this all towards south and helping spread out that energy just a bit. And even if we take a look at Invest 93W, see how it makes that hard right turn. We jump over to 92W, also making that hard right turn as well. So these storms just kind of getting compressed energy spread out you got it you got the point there all right so let's take a look at well let's go to our our friends at windy here this is the ecmwf this is the 16th and the 17th over to the 18th see how this area develops almost the the latest ecmwf actually wants to develop something just off the north coast of luzon and out here in the philippine sea if we look at the gfs it consolidates that area in the philippine sea a bit more and runs it as a typhoon into okinawa by the 19th into the 20th yeah i'm not 100 percent on that okay that's just a possibility it's a week out for our friends in okinawa this would be a bad day by the way in naha i mean that uh, based on the what the current gfs is indicating wind solid tropical storm strength on the island could be looking at even stronger than that but we pull back the picture you one thing that is very noticeable in this is that a just enhanced winds right there 
pulled all the way from the Indian Ocean. And that's what we're talking about when we say the enhanced Tabagot. That's it right there. The clear cut textbook example. And you can see it somewhat here too. So once again, this would be sometime uh, between about the 16th to the 20th here where we would see that rainfall due to that increased risk of tropical development in the Philippine Sea now. So, yeah, I'm going to do my best to keep you guys posted on this. Of course, we're monitoring all these other areas out here from Taiwan to Okinawa towards um, uh, that area over the Ogasara Islands. I mean, not going to downplay those and their broader impacts on uh, the weather out here. But I do think our, our attention, it, this is just almost rainy season type stuff, some localized storms, localized flooding. But our attention needs to be on this area of convection towards the south and how that could develop separate uh, from those uh, areas towards the north here. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always here to help keep you guys posted and uh, keep you informed of what's going to be happening out here. But uh, it does look like uh, things really could be starting to heat up just a bit through that extended outlook. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there where air, ah, words. Stay safe out there. If you wanna support this channel, check out our Patreon, link is down below. Now we're gonna put the stuff behind a paywall. I say that in all the updates, but it does help. It helps pays the bills. So thanks for watching. And number one thing, of course, stay safe. I've said that already. Goodbye, guys. Have a good day.